So we're going to be building a simple Deno API that's going to be accepting some couple of requests and also making a request from Deno to another third party link. And now uh, we are working with Tracker GG and also we are going to be grabbing users from Tracker GG to our application. I'm just going to search for a user that does exist for now. I'm just going to search for phone APS. And if the user happens to exist, we are going to get back the uh, details of that user and also uh, the, the stars of that user you can see on the right. So this is going to put us through to some couple of CSS, working with CSS in your Vue.js application and also applying that to Geno, Deno, I mean the API request from Vue.js to Deno backend. So if you happen to search empty, you can see it's going to alert you at the right side that you have something uh, you did not put in, that is the player ID and the PSN is default. So let me just search for user that does exist as well. Just going to search for time K. 47. So TAMK47 is in X, I think X boss. When I search for TAMK47, you can see the TAMK47, you can see TAMK avatar and also TAMK stars at the right. So I really want us to use this to understand this new guy called Deno. And I, it's going to be a good thing to watch to really have knowledge about Deno. So make sure you hit the like button and also the subscribe button while you continue to watch the video. Before we begin, let's just talk a little bit about Deno. As you can see here, it's a secure runtime for JavaScript and also TypeScript. It has this feature and compatibility feature with TypeScript, which makes it a very, very cool, something different from Node.js primarily. So Deno is a simple, modern and secure runtime for JavaScript and also TypeScript that uses V8 in, and is built in Rust. So this V8 engine is supported also in Node.js and also in, even in your Chrome browser. So over here, you can see the two features I just mentioned on your Chrome and also in your, uh, no, uh, sorry, your Node.js. So if you really want to have a depth in, uh, in knowledge about this, you can come over to the official documentation. Then you can really see more of that. So over here, they have some standard library that you can work with. You can see assign, archive, util. And down here, let me just go to the ones you may be familiar with. So if you have been working with some of my courses on YouTube, you can see me make use of this UID to generate a random ID. And when you click on that, you can see how you can import it. And you are working directly with this mod.ts file. So you can just import that and it's going to catch this into your hard drive. And that what, that's what makes the know uh, very, very separate and very, very unique. It's kind of very cool. So to install Deno on your Mac or on your Homebrew, sorry, on your Mac, or on your uh, Windows, on your any operating system, they have some steps over here that you can follow to get that done. So for, power, for Windows, I use this code on your PowerShell. You can just simply grab this code and run it on PowerShell. Then you can have it installed. So lastly, uh, the, the one I want to talk about lastly is the third party modules. So in this third party modules, they added a lot of things. Even for you to make a fetch request, they have something called KY that you can use to make a fetch request. We are going to be making use of that. And also for you to set up your server, you have to make reference to the oak. So the oak over here, you use it simply to set up a server. So I think it's down there. Uh, oak, yeah. So you can see the mod.ts file which is definitely going to catch in your hard drive and you can make use of the application to set up a simple server, just like the way you set up a simple server on your SPSJS or on your Node.js application. Then you can assign that to a separate port and then you can use that. And one thing that makes Deno unique is that it has this top level assigned wrapper. So most times you don't even need to wrap your function or wrap your value uh, let's say you are making a request directly uh, aside a, a function. You can just uh, grab this await and put it, put it in the line of your code. And it's still going to give you a perfect result without you even wasting of time.